And to see what it takes to be one of the top adaptive archers in the world, we brought in retired Air Force Staff Sergeant Daniel Crane to the ESPN Sports Science Lab. Since losing his right arm, Crane has found an untraditional way to be amazingly accurate with a bow. Ability-wise, what do you think is your strong suit? Not being able to use two arms when I do archery, I think actually helps me. Because whenever you use two arms and two sets of hands, you have a lot more room for error. To get an inside look of Crane's skill, we wired him up with technology and let him do what he does best. Our eye tracker shows us that Crane uses only his left eye to aim. While this decreases his field of vision by about 25%, some studies show that when aiming compared to binocular vision, monocular vision can improve accuracy by about 5%. Now when Crane uses his prosthetic hand, his left bicep and trapezius muscles have to exert more than 90% of their max power, which can lead to shakiness and bad aim. But when using his mouth, his biomechanics change, and Crane primarily relies on his left trapezius and deltoid muscles, which exert just 75% of their max output. Less strain on his muscles means more stability. And from 60 feet away, Crane is able to consistently hit the bullseye. Even though from that distance, his margin of error at the point of release translates to a distance smaller than the width of the arrow itself. So to really put his accuracy to the test, we asked Crane to channel his inner William Tell. Are we sure about this? <laughs> On second thought, rather than a dummy, we'll just use a mannequin. Now, even though the apple presented a target about 15% smaller than the gold rings, Crane is still able to serve up some applesauce. Look at this. Oh, man. Right in the center of it. Now, another advantage for Crane is he gets to utilize his masseter muscle, which controls the jaw, to withstand the bow's 26-pound draw weight. And that muscle is actually capable of exerting 200 pounds of pressure per square inch, more than any other muscle in the human body. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.